Good morning everyone! So this is day three of my 7x7 seven seven reading journey slash challenge slash experiment. <laughs> I have decided, as I said in my previous vlog, to read seven hours a day for seven days, basically. I have been doing fairly well for the past two days reading completing the actual like challenge of seven hours which is amazing um, I managed to finish two books which I was already reading before this challenge but uh, I managed to finish them through the last two days and for today I am gonna probably read in three different books Two of them I have already like read a little bit of um, and I'm probably not gonna continue for today but I'm just like not gonna finish them but I'm gonna continue with the journey of reading them. And uh, the third book is actually a new book and it's a new release and I'm super excited for that and I'm hoping I can finish it today. The other two books, I am not like um, I'm not interested in finishing them, but this specific book, the third one, I am pretty pretty interested in finishing it. Uh, let me just show you the first two books that are actually like what I've been reading, but I want to continue reading for a little bit. Uh, one of them is a fiction book, and this is. Haruki Murakami Kafka am Strand and this is basically <laughs> Kafka on the shore. This is the German edition. I've been neglecting this for over a week now. Um, yeah, I've mentioned this before, but this is a very slow read for me. I'm gonna try as much as possible to read this consistently until I finish it. So I'm gonna read at least an hour of this and at least an hour of Sabians by Yuval Noah Harari. I always like forgot forget his name. This is a Sabians a brief history of humankind. I've already read a few of this as you can see this is the only book I am currently like tabbing things in because this is a non-fiction book and I'm I'm interested and so far so good. We'll see how things will evolve. These will take up to two hours of the reading challenge and then for the other five hours I will read the new What Are You Going Through by Sigrid Nonetz. Nonetz. It's 210 pages so manageable in five hours? I have no idea. Uh, it's currently now 10.09 so let's get right into the reading. I'm gonna settle the camera closer and start right away. Yeah, I forgot to mention that I'm gonna start with the new release, which is What Are You Going Through? And um, it talks about a woman that she like meets different people throughout her life and this interaction with these different people and how they affect her and her life journey and about also what lingers the most between people like what do people seek generally speaking and um, and what do they have in common or something like that I'm not quite sure but uh, yeah uh, I'm gonna start this right away and I've been rambling for quite a while So, um, I have just reached page 80, 98, or I have just finished 97 pages of this book, um, and it's, it's almost 12 p.m. I think I'm gonna take a break. And I think this break will be at least for 20 minutes. I have a persisting headache and it's just it 
it's not going away. It's not from reading. I don't know wh why I have this headache, but uh, I feel it would be a good idea if I just take a break because it's not going away. And change of plans, I... plans. <laughs> change of plans. I don't think I will be finishing uh, this book today. It's just because of the fact that I'm not really connecting with the story. I had high hopes for this story, but I've been reading and reading and with each page I'm feeling like I'm drifting away rather than getting closer. And I don't think it's the, the book itself, I think it's the genre, generally speaking. I'm discovering about myself more and more that I'm not really that much of a literary fiction type of a person. I'm not saying never or there is no like no such connection that could ever be found with literary fiction. Uh, I do still believe that I can still enjoy some literary fiction books, but it's much easier for me to enjoy, for example, a fantasy book. This is not a rule, it's just what I am observing these days. And maybe it's just this story I'm not connecting. There aren't any actual like persistent characters. The only character that is always around is actually the narrator, which we don't know that much about her up until this point. And I've read like half of the book and I don't feel like I know anything about her. I feel like I know a lot about other people. Maybe it's the whole point of this like section of the book or of this whole book, I don't know. But I'm not feeling that I'm enjoying the read as much as um, I wanted. Uh, let's just leave the checking here and uh, I will see you in... For you, it will be just a second. Hi, I'm back. And I've just recorded this, but it turns out that I didn't turn on the mic for this. <laughs> anyway, I laid down for about 20 minutes or 25 minutes or so. And I didn't sleep, I just like closed my eyes and the pain has almost disappeared. At least now it's more manageable. So I am ready to continue. And now I am gonna read with the Sabians History of Humankind. I'm gonna make a cup of tea and I will continue. Hi, I have just finished reading my hour of Sabian's A Brief History, History of Humankind. It's now 1622. I think I'm gonna read for like an hour or an hour and 10 minutes or something like that. I'm gonna read Haruki Murakami Kafka Amstrand or I'm gonna continue with the book. Let's return for a second um, and talk a little bit about Sabian's A Brief History of Humankind. Now this book has a lot of great information. It is very informative. It looks like it is uh, well researched so I appreciate, appreciate that so much. But when I was reading I keep sensing kind of a, a pessimistic vibe to this book. Uh, I feel like the the writer, the way he is delivering the information is a little bit cynical. <laughs> For me personally, I don't mind that. It's fine, I don't blame him <laughs> for writing in a pessimistic point of view. Uh, but I do think that it's worth mentioning because I know a lot of people don't like a cynical look on things. 
specifically in a non-fiction book but I feel like for me it, it is completely fine perhaps if you are someone who doesn't really at all like reading a little something with a pessimistic undertone then maybe this one isn't for you but you will still be missing out on a lot of information because the information in this book it will need a lot of reading from like different types of books to get the gist of this book so yeah it is it is a unique book and in this book you will see not only the actual like evolution of homo sapiens but also our impact on the environment on the earth itself on other species so you you will see the the things that comes or that came with our evolution so there are a lot of questions that will rise up to the surface i believe once you read this book um yeah but that was the only point that i wanted to emphasize on the, the fact that there is a pessim pessimistic underline to this some people may even see this as or the stone as a realist rather than a pessimist but me personally i kind of feel it's not just like a realist it it has some cynical tone into it that was the read for this specific hour uh, i will continue for the challenge or the experiment for day three i still have more than an hour to go i will talk to you in just a bit just finished the last hour of today is experiment reading challenge it's minus 10 minutes I would say overall so I've reached page 247 and I'll be continuing this tomorrow now a little bit of a change of plans again because I change plans it seems like I change plans a lot I decided most likely that I'm not gonna finish the first book that I was reading today which was what you are going through yeah so I said before that I might be finishing this tomorrow but thinking more about it I I keep feeling this unsettling thing in me that doesn't really want to finish this book at least not right now I'm not saying I'm completely gonna DNF this book I'm just saying I'm gonna DNF it for the moment and um, I'm gonna just put it aside and see in like a few days if I genuinely just want to pick it up I don't want to force myself to read it because I don't feel that I'm in the mood to read it right now or at least that I'm in the mood to continue it because I was in the mood to start reading it but I didn't feel like finishing it I'm not feeling the book and I feel like with with me feeling that I don't want to read this book or this genre of books right now it it will kind of be unfair 
for me to continue reading this book. So I'm just gonna put it aside for now. And if I feel like I want to pick it up tomorrow, for example, I will. But most likely, this is not gonna change tomorrow. But we'll see. So yeah, I, I will go now to the kitchen and prepare some dinner. And for you, you will see me in like one, two, three. So I have just reached page 53 of the Knight of the Dragon. Not the, the, but Knight of the Dragon. So yeah, this is getting really interesting. I was looking forward to starting this because I had the feeling that this would be like the most exciting book throughout the trilogy. I was really, really impressed with the first book of this trilogy. The second one I liked, but uh, I I felt that there was something missing. But I also knew that this missing element will probably be existence existent in this book. And so far, so good. I've been reading for about two hours or even a little bit more. I'm gonna take just a tiny small break, do a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or something and I will continue with this. I will probably read at least two hours more of this. I think easily I will finish part one of this and continue also with part two. Um, and I will see either after that I will take like two hours of reading Haruki Muragami or I will just simply continue with this and leave the last two hours for the Haruki Muragami book but either ways I am reading this heavily I'm gonna just remove the sleeve it's still very pretty without the sleeve and I will continue So I have just reached page 120 of Night of the Dragon book and yeah I am loving it um, I do want to stop here for today so I can read like two hours of Haruki Muragami I want to read a little bit in German and yeah now is oh is almost four so I'm gonna read less than two hours of German but it's or in German but it's all right I've been having so much fun with this book <laughs> I almost don't want to like put it down but uh, yeah I will probably continue with this book tomorrow try to finish it tomorrow so tomorrow will be 
more focused on this specific book. I'm not gonna try to read anything else and hopefully I will be able to finish it. So this book is really like really impressive. I'm really loving it and the idea of this book to like in my head I imagined this book being a, not only this book but the whole series being kind of a, an animation movie or something that would be absolutely great colorful and a lot of great fighting scenes but in kind of an anime mood and i really really i'm loving that i'm loving the idea of that i know that's not happening but i'm just like i'm wishing that could happen because i would watch that a lot <laughs> I would say it's definitely focusing a little bit on romance. I know that some people don't really like that when they read like fantasy books and things like that, but I don't mind it. I don't find it necessarily abrupting the story, but it's definitely part of the plot of the story. <laughs> Still interesting. A lot of things are being revealed right now that is very very interesting. I have heard or uh, someone on my Instagram commented the other day when I posted about me finishing Soul of the Sword. They said that uh, the ending is quite unique and it's not for everyone or along the realm of being special and not everyone would like that but i don't know i'm quite thrilled to continue this book and to see <laughs> how everything will wrap up at the end and a little bit nervous because i don't want to hate it i really want to love the end because uh, i'm loving the book itself and i'm loving how things are turning out to be it was great journey and I expected this book to be like the height of the trilogy and so far it is but we will see I'm gonna continue now with reading um, but not with this book as I said I'm gonna take this book right now which is as I said before Haruki Murgami Kafka am um, Strand let's continue just finished the seven hour or seven hours mark for today's reading challenge or reading journey it is now 1741 that means that day four is completed for Kafka am Strand I am almost halfway almost it is I think page 270 yeah so i'm almost halfway but uh, yeah uh, i'm excited it is um, for me as i said before um german is not an easy read and i take quite some time to like go through so i'm happy that i am going through it anyway so for tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, we have Saturday and Sunday, which means it's the weekend. And usually on weekends, I just like to chill and, you know, have a good time with my husband. So it's gonna be a challenge, another challenge for me to actually include these seven reading hours throughout these two days but I'm gonna do it anyway I hope you are enjoying this uh, ride <laughs> with me and yeah I will see you very very soon for now bye bye <laughs>